Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnus and today I will do the top 10 Van Halen songs. Um, I actually thought that I did this list way, you know, way back in the day, but apparently I haven't, so I'm gonna do it now. Uh, yeah, so Van Halen, um, I'm not a huge fan of them. I like their debut album, uh, their second album is pretty decent, I suppose. Um, the third one is Women and Children First. I think that one is kind of overrated, honestly. Like, uh, you know, Rolling Stone thinks it's one of the best metal albums. I'm like, it's not even metal, but whatever. Fair Warning is decent. Uh, you know, it's a bit heavier, I suppose. Diver Down was a disappointment, and uh you know too too many covers it was just kind of shitty honestly 1984 is good uh yeah i like that album um i just don't think it's as rocking as the debut but it's still a decent album i suppose so i actually thought that it did this one before but apparently i haven't so we're gonna do it now ads are getting smarter though jesus christ i'm not sure what i'm seeing right now I was a huge Halen fan back in the day. Like I can rem I can actually remember that I requested top 10 Van Halen songs uh, for Alex. So that's how huge of a fan I was, I suppose. But I was just like, hey, you haven't done Van Halen before, can you do it? And then he credited me, but you cannot view it anymore, fuck's sake. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah, my favorite Halen songs, I guess, uh, You Really Got Me, Eruption is great, you know, although this cover, Eruption is a great instrumental. That's pretty much the greatest Halen moment right there, you know, when Eddie just shreds, honestly. Ain't talking about Love is a Classic. Uh, basically the whole debut album, uh, you know, uh, fucking Running with the Devil. Uh, On Fire is pretty, pretty lit, I, I would say. Atomic Punk, that's a good one. So yeah, those songs, uh, I really like You're No Good, I, I think, you know, from 2. Uh, Dance and Night Away is a classic. Spanish Fly is kind of funny, I suppose, although that's a really short instrumental, I believe. It's kind of like D from, um, from Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, yeah, songs like that, Panama, fucking, how's the song called? Hot for Teacher, yeah, that's fucking playing right now. Yeah, Welcome Hot for Teacher is a classic. So, Halen have classic songs, I just don't think, you know, they sound kind of dated to me, honestly. They sound like, you know, a full blown death rock band to me. Although, that's not per se a bad thing, because I do love some death rock bands like Pearl Jam and U2 and Deep Purple. Bands in that nature, Led Zeppelin, I suppose. Uh, yeah, you know, I do The Doors, it's definitely The Doors. So I do love me some death rock bands, but I don't know, Van Halen is kind of dated to me, honestly. I do like them now, but they are a 1980s band, for sure. Late 70s, early 80s. Yeah, by the way, I've watched this video already, so I do know, uh, you know what songs are gonna be on here. Right now, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Hagar era, you know, um, I, I like, uh, how's this record called again, 5015 or something, or no, it's a follow-up one, I believe. I forgot the title, but the debut album with Sammy Hagar, that's the only good thing he has ever made, in my opinion. And he probably didn't, didn't even made it, Eddie Van Halen probably did. And after that, they went to shit, man, like... Eddie had kind of like a poppy sensibility on that debut with Sammy, but after that he just fucking blew it, honestly. Number 10, right now. And there were some low-key good songs here and there, like right now, you know, Dreams was from the debut. I believe, yeah, I believe there are only two Sammy Hagar songs on this list, uh, Dreams and Right Now. Tired of 
of writing, yeah, I'm pretty sure. writing superficial lyrics. And why why can't this be Love Was a Big Hit but it's not on this list? Hey, Hagar gave more serious talk That's a decent song, I think. Right, decent. You know, that the whole debut album with Sammy is pretty pretty good. It's pretty right, good right. album. Not a huge fan of Hagar, but I like the debut. Thanks to its exploration of socially the issues, right now Dave Lee Roth debut and the Sammy Hagar debut. Not the Gary Sharon debut, however. That's not why Fucking disaster. This hard rocker returns to the band's hard bass sound, adds some piano, and offers an anthemic chorus. That's kind of too That's sappy kind of for me, I suppose. Music award winning music video. Yeah, it's kind of torchy. This is classic Van Halen Rider, Dance the Night Away. Van Halen composed this song in the late 90s. Yeah, that's a bit poppier. Not a huge fan of Fleetwood either. Fleetwood. Fleetwood. There we go. I do like the bench, you know, I do like them, but. Nah, they're not my favorites. I don't know if every band has to be my favorite, but they're still pretty good. You know, especially compared with today's music. Cock rock moment. At least, you know, at least back in the day everything was still distinctive. Everything was alive and breathing on rock and roll, now just everything is fucking dead. Uh, everything was better back in the day. I love that build up and then the, the split by David. What do you call that? Yeah, I believe it's split, you know, when you're crossing legs, I suppose. That's, that's the definition of a cock rock artist right there. He's literally showing off. Sonic Assault that kept us hooked all the way through. The solo. Oh, just skip the solo. There we go. Get where I'm going. That Halen's fourth record. Yeah, that is a good song too. Darker and heavier effort than their previous record. What is Eddie doing, mate? He's kind of like a cock rock artist, dude. They're all cocks, honestly. Like, put on some clothes, mate. I know it's like a steaming hot rock and roll show, but still. Although, you know, they're not bad looking, but still. Well, why does he, like, jump like this? Like, kind of jump hurricane, I suppose? Why does he do that? Kinda like the dope walk, but less retarded. Uh, dreams. I'm not a huge fan of this song. While it still features Van Halen's hard rock sound, this single from their first album with Sammy Hagar differentiates itself with its synth rock influences. Yeah. Van Halen was doing double duty on guitar and keyboards, and the result was a top 30 track on the Billboard Hot Terrible. <laughs> what is he wearing, mate? Nine years it's like he just stepped in, into America and just grabbed the clothes he could grab. Dreams help the band attract new fans. Why is the mic blurred? What the fuck? Unpopular opinion, I actually think it sounds better in the movie than studio-wise. It just sounds a bit more epic, I would say. Speaking of epic... Number five, yeah, I know this list. Eruption is a short instrumental piece that precedes Van Halen's cover of the Kings on their debut album. As such, 
They're often played together both in concert and on the radio. That's why we've bundled them here, though they're both great for different reasons. Thanks to Eddie Van Halen's famous tapping technique, the former's one of the most respected guitar solos ever. While You Really Got Me gave the band their first top 40 hit. Girl, you really got it now. Uh, Jim. This is pretty much my favorite song right here. Number four. Not Jim, but that last one. The uh, still top 10, I would say. It's actually pretty funny that the only song I didn't mention was Jump, and I was not even intentionally done, I just forgot about Jump. ...used opening in stadium rock sound, Jump seemed destined for life... Like yeah, this is a classic song too. I didn't really think about it honestly, but, you know, you know, the solo, the keyboard, the, the message of Kill Yourself. It's like an early meme, like an early Kill Yourself notes, an early Tide Pulse meme. Still kind of relevant. The Just kill yourself. So well, it became Van Halen's first and only Hot 100 chart topic. And this was also on the list of um, happy sounding songs that are actually depressing. That's, I think, one of their most clever lists, honestly. That's pretty clever, I would say. Although they, you know, it's fans suggested, but still. It's a pretty smart fan. I do love the, that the keyboards get slower and then the drum by Alex Benani kick in. Great Halen moment right there, literally. Hot for teacher. Number three, hot for teacher. The music video for this is probably one of the most dated things ever, honestly. Honestly. While this hard rock and metal number features some splendid guitar work from Eddie Van Halen. Just the kids hanging out and the, like the younger ones imitating the band. The intro drums are really great though. I just don't think they're the greatest intro drum feel ever according to Loudwire. I, I still think that the title goes to um, to Painkiller by Judas Priest. And while it only found lots of success on the Billboard charts, Hot for Teachers still made waves for its risque lyrical content. Oh, the whole dresser thing. But I'm also for teacher. Accompanying music video starring a scantily clad former Playboy playmate that we still can't seem to forget. Yeah, she is supposed to be the teacher, but I don't really see that happening. Ain't talking about love. Number two, ain't talking. Yeah, there's honestly not a lot to talk about here. You know, dude, Steve Young really wants me to to react to this list, but what is there to say, honestly? I heard the next one is Motorhead, I believe. That's really interesting. Yeah, Motorhead, Bob Dylan, and then some shitty bands afterwards. Well, not all of them, but uh, three, three of the same. Not a real artist, but kind of like a parody artist. And if you think parody, you know which one I'm talking about. I've been to the edge. The almost four minute tune really packs a punch and has spawned multiple covers. Hey, hey, hey. Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit too simplistic for my taste. Uh, everybody wants them, that's the classic. Atomic Punk, that's a classic. A good title song too. Humans being. I hate it how he says being. Be. He doesn't even finish the, the fucking line, like, mate, go away. There's a good song, I think, Love Walks In from, yeah, yeah, 5150. What a retarded title. But, you know, same thing, Van Halen, Van Halen too. Uh, fucking. 1984 naming it after the year like Van Halen is not good with album titles but they have some classics Love Walks In from that album it, it's, it's kind of like poppy, it's pop rock, I, you know I like it, I, I like that song this song sounds like an ass honestly, Pound Cake da -da -da -da. like the whole the instrumentation, the production, it sounds like a big wet fart to me Terrible. Speaking of terrible, 
from Balance, which is arguably um, it's a bad album, I know, but it also has one of the worst album covers ever. Like, do you think that Van Halen 3 is bad, as in album cover wise? You know, uh, as in musical wise, nothing is gonna beat Van Halen 3 in like bottom of the barrel, but that album cover of Balance, like the two kids, you know, melted to each other on a sort of like um, on a sort of moving device and not transport device, I suppose. <clears throat> on, a, on a fucking wooden plank. I do like the environment though. The environment looks pretty like chill, pretty cool, pretty comfy. But the fucking the the two boys melting together. The Sai, yeah, yeah, the Siamese kind of thing. The Siamese dream, I suppose. By you know, be way better album by way better band in my opinion, but you know that's debatable. <laughs> Just not a huge Halen fan, but I do like some of their songs. Like this one, this is a classic song, Panama. I love this song. What? Panama. Wow. I'm just. Yeah, I just like some intricate music and Van Halen is kind of straightforward, honestly. Also features some sexually suggestive moments that are hard to ignore. Uh, you know, what is a straightforward band that I like? Well... I guess Oasis or something. I like Oasis. Outside of that, I don't really like a lot of straightforward bands. Although Oasis does have layers. I don't know. With its heavy guitar riff and themic nature. I don't know. Uh, Green Day, I think. Is Green Day straightforward? Although they have meaning to. I'm not saying that Halen is meaningless, but they are really straightforward. And then Halen, Halen drinking from a, from a rope. Kill yourself. <laughs> Another kill yourself reference. Like, Halen really wants you to kill yourself. Or maybe that's a message in the group. Just kill yourself, kill yourself. Sammy Hager, die. Uh, Jerry, Sharon, die. Although he never really was in the in the band. The lead singer from Extreme, Jesus. I'm not a huge fan of Extreme, by the way. I have no idea what, what I was going on about, but 70 minutes seems like an appropriately title or a lengthy video. Uh, my top three Van Halen frontman. Well, there's not a lot to choose from still. Gary Sharon, terrible. Sammy Hagar, good. David Lee Roth, awesome. Uh, yeah, Gary Sharon is terrible. I would change uh, Sammy Hagar, good to bad or mediocre. And yeah, David Lee Roth. I would say David Lee, Ro David Lee Roth, if I can say his fucking name, is good to. Great, yeah, I would say. He, he is a great frontman. Cock rock, but he is great. I came here for Van Halen song, not Van Hagar songs. There we go. Van Halen is uh, is better than Van Hagar. I, I almost want to talk to Dutch. Yeah, and then... And then some fucking bloke requesting 30 different songs or uh, videos to watch Mojo. I'm the one, one of their best songs, Hope, Hope is There. If you can spell properly, you don't have videos. Greatest rock song ever recorded. What, what, what is it? Yeah, there's probably like, you know, um, probably some guys commenting on it and they deleted their channel or something. Where's Why This Can Be Love? Well, yeah, it's pretty bad song, honestly. Well, nah, it's just meh. Ice Cream Man should have, have gotten an honorable mention. Running with the Devil should be much higher. Um, nah, I just don't really care, honestly. Um, the one is my favorite uh, Van Halen song, such an underrated track. Yeah, a lot of people say I'm the one, which is, I believe, a like a self-titled song, I believe. The best Van Halen song was and always will be, uh, shall be Mean Street. Mean Street, I know you know it, and the American people know it, Bob Dole during the 1996 presidential, pres presidential campaign. Fucking hell. My speech mate, it's, it's dog shit. And that's why I'm going to quit. 
Too many Venegas songs on this list. Uh, David Lee Roth is so much better. It's true. Uh, well, there are only two. Yeah, there, there's only two. There we go. Not that bad. It's only two, so it wasn't that bad, right? Fuck no. Let, yeah, let's end. Let's end on the on that. Fuck. I'm not gonna say his name, but he knows the scumbag. He is a scum. So fuck that guy. Fuck. Uh, well, not per se fuck Hagar, but. Hagar, stay out of Halen, mate. You're not, you're not Halen. And uh, J Jerry Sharon, I forgot his name already. Jerry Sharon. Uh, Gary Sharon. There we go. Get. I was saying Jerry and Cherry, I believe. Gary Sharon. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but thanks for watching this video. Um, yeah, co final conclusion, uh, final verdict. I'm not a huge Halen fan. Uh, I like the debut. I kind of dig the second album. Uh, I think the third one is really overrated. Fourth one is decent. Fifth one is kind of underwhelming. The sixth one is a good note to end on for, you know, David Lee Roth. And after that, they kind of turned to shit with 5150, which was too poppy, but it was still good. And after that, they really declined. Like, yeah, uh, OU185 or something. Like, these starters are terrible, I know. Terrible, uh, fucking fuck. Literally, fuck for, unlo for unlawful ca carnage fucking knowledge or something. I don't know. Fuck. It literally says fuck you to you. Like, um,. Uh, not dedicated to chaos, but uh, frequency on the unknown. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, so both Van Halen and Queen Strike are telling you to fuck off. Although Halen did it like two decades earlier, but still, whatever. You know, uh, uh, in that time, Queen Strike was still good, so they didn't do that back then. But Van Halen was already shit back then, so there we go. Uh, Balance was terrible. Uh, Van Halen 3. What is that? And well, you know, the, the new album is, you know, new as in six years old, seven years now, Jesus. Seven year old album, that's decent, but I don't really see Van Halen making a comeback. Like, they are an 80s product. They are a late 70s, 80s product. So, you know, Jump, Ain't Talking About, Ain't Talking About Love, just the classic songs are gonna be there forever. And Van Halen is gonna be one, one of those legendary bands that will live on you know well kind of forgotten because you know you have your your acdc's and your fucking led zeppelins and uh black sabbaths i suppose that are just gonna overtake you and are just gonna overshadow you because they're more popular more successful and i mean let's be honest they're better too i'm not a huge acdc fan but they but some of their albums absolutely fucking blow Van Halen out of the water. I can't deny that. But uh, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what are your favorite Van Halen songs in the comments down below. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.